Welcome back guys, it's Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting and I am here with another unboxing. This is the last one of the BOGO that I got from Dreamer Designs. This one is a 50 by 40 yet again and this one is San Juan Canyon. Um, this is probably the one that I'm iffy about in this batch but I saw that um, Jeremy Fryer did a got this one and finished it I think. No wait. Might have been Mrs. Coffee. I don't remember, guys. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. And um, the same disclaimer you've been hearing for the last few videos in my little Dreamer Designs mini-series. I'm um, coming off of being sick, so I may be flipping away, turning my head away into my elbow to cough. My voice probably sounds a little bit weird just because I'm sick. Do not fret. Well, I'm getting over being sick. I didn't have a voice this time last week. So we're going to just roll with it and be happy that I can talk. Oh, point it out one more time. Handle on the box. Very useful if you're going to use the box to transport things, including your painting. There's our canvas. Um, one of the really nice things about a Dreamer Designs um, kit, oh, I'm going to go dropping everything, but one of the nice things about a Dreamer Designs is that everything is like really nicely packed. I hope that um, stays as one of the things that continues to be true about them because I do really like how neatly everything is packed. Um, to save myself time, but to keep the video watchable and helpful for you, um, this is a complete kit. I can see everything's in here, so I am going to insert here the clip of me showing you a kit from previously. So, first things first. Comes in a baggie, and they send you enough baggies for every single color that they send. Um, the thing about Dreamer Designs that um, is currently the case and may not be the case, because again, these are the 1.0, they're doing the 2.0, um, but they don't have uh, usually as many colors as, say, like a Diamond Art Club or something like that. Um, I want to say they usually st stick to 30 or less. Um, there may be a few that are over, but I haven't, you know, done an analysis. But anyway, they give you enough baggies for everything. So if you want to kit up out of the baggies or store everything in leftover baggies, you will always have enough. They send you the good, high-quality, very pointy tweezers. Um, I have seen a lot of them come with the slightly damaged tweezer cover but honestly it still works make sure you keep the cover on those tweezers because they are very pointy and they will hurt um, you get two pens and two squishies and in addition to that you get a single plate you get a three placer and a six placer um, you know me I don't gen generally use the six placer but I do use the three placer pretty religiously um, and also I don't, I mean, I don't anymore tend to use the pens that come with the kits anyway, because I use my acrylic hand-turned diamond painting pens, but I still appreciate getting the pens because I think it's important with a diamond painting kit to have everything that someone who is just starting out would need. The other thing you get is two pots of wax. I love that these come with the pots. Um, they are branded with the Dreamer Designs logo on them. One note about the wax that comes with these. It is just pink wax, but um, it's not the greatest pink wax. And I don't know if it's actually any different from any other pink wax. Um, I'll have to do like a color comparison. I don't have any other wax up here. Um, I think it might be just a little bit more transparent, but 
um, it's a little bit gooier. So I end up, I find if I use this wax, I end up having to, try, to replace it a lot more. So what I like to do, if you're going to use this wax, is I peel off the circle and then just leave it uncovered in there for a little while. Don't put the cap on. Leave it for like a day someplace where it's going to get air, but maybe not dust. And then I don't bother putting the circle back on anyway. And then cover it back up. Um, because that will help it get a little bit of a cure to it. And it won't be as, um, as gooey. But if you're like me and you have so many Diamond Art Clubs, it's not funny. You're just going to use the Diamond Art Club wax because their wax is really good. So if I did have a suggestion for Dreamer Designs, it would be, hey, find out what wax diamond art club uses and then use that um but honestly the wax is a minor complaint so i don't take off any points for it because it comes in a little pot and that's great you also get a squishy for each pen and it comes with a branded funnel tray so i like the funnel tray now that I have finished with that, we shall get to the nitty gritty. Excuse the crinkle, I'm just getting this ready. Okay, every kit comes with the instructions on how to diamond paint in 12 languages. I obviously don't need those. If you do, enjoy. But if you don't, like me, just recycle them. That's all I'm going to do is just recycle them. All right. Here is our canvas. We're going to roll it backwards because it is a very pliable poured glue. So this will not hurt the adhesive at all. And you will see it comes on a foam roller. Again, I've said it the last three times, but I don't think it's necessary that we have a foam roller in these kits, but it is a nice plus. And if you use the foam rollers for other stuff, you can always use another foam roller. So, alrighty. So this is a 40 by 50 or 50 by 40, depending on if you want to put the width first, by um, Jean Guillet Art. Guillet. Guillet. I'm going to say Guillet. Jean. Jean Guillet. It's probably French, so it's probably Jean Guillet. I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. Wow. Okay, so um, Dreamer Designs does have a little bit of a fraying issue which isn't usually too bad but since I've unboxed four of them I've got the fuzz all over my shirt <laughs> um, I'll just use a roller later but you know if that really bugs you it really bugs you um, it does not bug me this one's a little bit more frayed than the last two I did I'm guessing this is one of the earlier ones we'll see how blurry the printing is um, because the last two I did were not super blurry. The first one was eh. Um, but I've noticed a correlation between it being a little bit rougher on here and the printing being blurrier. Anyway, um, this is San Juan Canyon. I've seen a finished one of this. And um, I some of the landscapes that Dreamer Designs does are a little eh. Um, so this one... We're going to see if I like it. However, it looked really good on camera, so we're going to cross our fingers that it turns out really nice. All right, let's see how many colors we got. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6. So we have 26. This is more in line with my 3-ish or less. Um, my last 3 had around 20. This one's got... 26. So this one's closer to 30. Um, again, if you know which ones have, if there are any that have more than 30, go ahead and leave a comment um, and I will keep that in mind. 
So we're going to leave a picture here of what it, the original looks like. Just keep in mind, they always um, up the saturation, you know, edit the image a bit. So it's not going to look exactly like the final painting. Uh, let's look at the printing a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, it's a little bit iffy on some of these, like the, um, the gold circle in the black is a little bit, eh. but the air, the the white arrow in the brown background looks pretty decent. Um, you know, the, it's, it's fairly clear. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, I don't think this one's going to be too much of a problem for me. Still not as bad as the, the one that I did. Oh my gosh, just the fuzz on this one. This one is definitely what I'm going to say is um, one that a frayer was complaining about. Um, that Like the fraying that people were complaining about. I may take it and washi tape these edges just to keep from bugging me. It looks like, almost like maybe the needle was dull. Sorry about that guys, looks like we got cut off just a little bit due to my camera running out of battery. Anyhow, um, as I was saying, it looks like the tool, I think what they do is they run it through like an empty serger um, that like, not a serger, but the overlock or whatever, whatever the machine is that cuts off the fabric as they go. Um, it looks like maybe that was dull on this one. So it is not necessarily fraying, but it is shedding a whole lot along this little edge. So, um, I'm probably going to tape that edge up, uh, because I came back here to film it in a different sweater and it is just kind of insane. The amount of, of shedding that's happening. And in fact, I'm taking that sweater off because, um, I'd rather get it all over my tank top than my sweater. So, uh, let's see. Um, I don't remember if I went over how many colors there is, so I'm going to just go through that one more time. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 26, 27. So 27, this one's on the higher end. I think when they do like a more realistic, quote unquote, um, picture, like that one, there have to be more colors. So that's why there are more. Um, again, as I said before, I'm not sure this is one I'm iffy about, but I still think it's going to turn out okay because I've seen it a couple times in pictures and I think even though it's a little oversaturated, I think it's going to turn out good. All right, so let's just go through the colors real quick. Um, again, all the drills on here just look really good. I can't say it enough, but Dreamer Designs drills are amazing, and I really hope that when they come out with their 2.0 canvas, that they can keep the quality of the drills, because um, I know that, like, for example, um, Diamond Art Club had a little snafu with their drills, because they you know, change suppliers, then they fixed it. I don't want to make it seem like they're still having trouble because they work really hard. And I know this video is about drummer designs, but I don't want to like make it seem like I'm crapping on Diamond Art Club or anything because I still love them. They are great. Um, I'm filming this little extra bit on Black Friday and um, they got me with not only a BOGO, but 30% off sale. And I maybe went a little overboard, guys. Yeah, I went a little overboard. Um, but, you know, that's that's it. Um, I'm doing Christmas shopping today and this weekend and possibly Monday, depending on everything I get. And then that's it. So, you know, um, no more spending. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, here you have it. This is San Juan Canyon. I'm excited to work on these. 
don't know when it's going to be because I do have a lot of paintings to work on. Um, and I'm working on my Victoria's Moon painting right now because I just want to get it finished. So that's kind of my home painting. Um, and I have to go through my little, my little notebook that you guys have seen. Um, I've since moved it to a different traveler's notebook, which I'll, maybe I'll do a quick video on later or like a whip and chat or something. Um, but I need to go through there and just pick what my next work painting is going to be and get that kitted up and ready for work. Um, but anyway, um, that is it. Please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you guys have done this painting, I want to hear about it. Definitely like this video. If you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. I never know. Should I go like this? Should I show you? Should I even bother? Um, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Um, I would love to see more subscribers. That's always wonderful. And if you want to get notifications when I upload a video, you can hit the bell after you subscribe. Um, I know sometimes that's like a lot, so don't feel like you have to. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.